was looking for you upstairs. And I even went to your room to knock. Mr. Why didn't you come to eat me and Daddy? You chose to come down now to find it while we are gone. Sister, when is mommy coming back from London? Sister, let me eat with you, please. Let my enemy live long and see what I'll be in future. I've been watching both of you from there. Daddy, why does she hate me so much? I don't think she hates you. But what then is the interpretation of what she's doing? It is time for you to go to bed. You know that. Hmm. Daddy, a few more minutes with her, please. Look, if she gives you any more of her venom, don't come to complain to me. Okay, Daddy. Good night, sir. What have you come here to do? What do you want? And who gave you the permission to follow me about? Sister, since when? Oh, you now answer my questions with questions. <laughs> Sister, no matter how much you hate me, I know we share the same blood. And I will never stop seeking your face until you tell me the offense I have committed that deserves no forgiveness. Sister, you don't even treat me like your younger sister at all. For coming to disturb me here again, you are a virus. You are an airborne disease. An epidemic that is capable of reducing people in the market by half. And if you don't get out of here, a slap will show you the way out. From the very start, you had hated me, couldn't understand why you were so hard, feel so empty, just like a Sister Ina, really my sister. Yes, she is your sister. Why then does she hate me so much? And the worst aspect of it is that she talks to me anyhow she likes. And you don't seem to be bothered about it. Anita, have you come to incite me into feeling too bothered about the case of Lina who is fast becoming incorrigible? No, Daddy. Don't say so. So, is there nothing you want us to talk about? Well, Daddy, I know that she gave me so many years gap. And that naturally means she has been the last born of this family. Before I was born. That naturally implies that 
you and mommy shifted the affection from her to me that made her very jealous which means she has not been able to overcome the jealousy anita let us give your sister some more time i know she will change okay daddy let's do it this way daddy why wouldn't your mommy start giving both of us equal attention in order to relieve her of her jealousy daddy do i have a clue there you are close to the mark yeah. okay daddy when is mommy coming back from london very soon it has been soon and very soon since last month and that your mother went for a medical checkup not a jamboree daddy if she's staying this long does it not mean she's not getting any better Anita, have you come to say something that I must think about? What is it? I said I was going to tell you something and you said later. Uh, leave it till later now. Maybe when I come back. Sir, the lady is dangerous. Your daughter's happiness is at stake. Which of my daughters? What is the problem? Sir, Auntie Lena is gradually turning her sister into a slave. The kind of maltreatment she gives her cause for caution. You need to talk to her. I've never seen a girl hate her own sister that way before. Okay. I've heard you. Mm? I, will, I will caution her. The other day, I, I, I tried to talk, but she insulted, insulted me. You know the way she behaves. I will talk to her. So my own is not a problem. The problem is that Anita is not comfortable in her own father's house. Please, sir, you need to do something. I have heard you. Now, go back and take care of the house. Okay, sir. As I was asking, what did you see in Anita that you cup your nose each time you see her? Is she a piece of this That I don't cup my nose each time I see her. But you do things worse than that. That girl is very stupid. That is all. So what is the point of stupidity? By what parameter do you classify her as being stupid? I don't blame her, I blame myself. If I had done what I should have done, that girl won't have the chance to run around in this house. I thank God that you didn't do that which you should have done. Look, you were the last born of this family for years before she was born. But now she's the last born. And now I may come tomorrow and become the last born too. The area is not bringing Anita close to you. The better for all of us in this house. Did you hear that? I've heard you, Dad. So, are you making a promise now? Dad, I don't make promises. My decisions are straight and forward. You know, I like you for one thing. 
you have the guts of a man. It's just that sometimes you take things to the extreme. Dad, can I go inside now? Have we finished talking? Linda, my daughter. You see, your mother is not enjoying good health now. And I may follow suit because of the coal of fire that you are heaping on my head. But if you become uncontrollable and your sister becomes... My a sister? Hmm. Oh, don't be silly. You cannot change what destiny has brought to be. Dad, destiny makes mistakes. And you know that. Oh, shut up your mouth. Shut up your mouth. Don't deposit what you cannot withdraw. You and Anita deserve equal rights in this house. And equal attention and love. Sir, with sponge and brush. No using of washing machine today. Anita, when you're through with the clothes, hmm? you clean up the shoes and take them back to my shoe rack. Please, can I ask you a question? Don't ask any question. Bend down and walk before the sun goes down. Sister, I'm sure I'm not a maid in my own father's house. And please don't make me work. So don't shut up. Don't stop running your mouth. I will land you a slap. Sister, these ones are too big for me. Bend down and watch and don't be lazy. I should bend down. Oh. Anita. Did I just speak French or German? Did I just speak? I said, did I just speak French? Did I just speak French? I said, burn and wash. Idiot, stupid girl. Wash this clothes. Wash this clothes. I said, I said, wash them. What is it? 
Sister Lena forced me to wash her clothes. And when I tried to protect, she pushed me inside this water. Jesus Christ! You mean she did all this to you? Yes. Hey! This girl. How can Nina expect you to wash all these clothes? Are you a Draculina? Eh? Hey! What happened to the washing machine? Eh? Hey! Chinekelina. By the way, where is that Genti? Mommy Genti went to the market. Mommy, since you traveled, Sister Lina has been maltreating me in this house. Eh? Hey! Lina! What is wrong with Lina? This girl has run mad. Eh? How could she do this to her, to her younger sister? How can she be treating her younger sister like this? Eh? Don't worry, it's okay. No, I'm sorry. Sorry, I am back now. Don't worry, when she comes back, I am going to address this issue once and for all. I will talk sense into her. Eh, mom? Sorry, oh, no. sorry. The mommy is back. Uh, by the way, where is daddy? Daddy is here to come back from the office. Okay, don't worry. Let's when again he comes, you come and finish it. Or better still, take it to dry cleaners. It's okay. It's okay, mom. Hey, madam, you are back. You're welcome. Hey, Gentry, how are you? I'm fine. How is London? London was good when I left. I'm just coming back from the market. I was told. Have you seen Anita and Elena? I saw Anita crying over a huge heap of clothes that Elena forced her to wash. How can she be maltreating her own younger sister like that? Eh? Madam, I'm happy you are back. She has been like this, so backing and shouting all the time. And each time I tried to talk, she shouted back at me. Hey, Lena is just impossible. And she has refused to change. What is wrong with that girl? Hey, it's terrible. To change. Ah. Madam, how is your health? How was the checkup? I'm good. I'm, I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm good. Hey, go and drop that thing. Go and drop it in the kitchen. Oh, thank God. House. My level has changed. It's not like before when I used to keep quiet. I won't keep quiet again. My level has changed. You will not suppress me again in this house. You will think you can suppress me in this house. Nobody will suppress me in this house. Nobody. Lila, will you shut up your mouth? How can you talk to your mother like that? Hey. Honey, you need to have seen this girl crying over heaps of clothes that this weekend get asked her to wash. Blankets, bed sheets, towels, even jeans, trousers. Despite the fact that we have washing machine in this house. That even her shoes. She asked me to wash them and clean them. She pushed her down into soapy water. This wicked girl maltreated this girl against my warnings before I traveled out of this country. Lena, what is wrong with you? Have you gone crazy or what? It's your ribble you want to kill me before my time, and you know my bad health. Eh, Lina? If you will, if you will. You people should have asked her what she did before I pushed her. Or do I just go about pushing people? You should have asked her what she did before I pushed her. Lina, you are attempting me in this house. You are attempting me in this house. You are so wicked and heartless. Yes. Yes, I am heartless. Because there is no heart anymore in the world. People now carry hearts about for biological excuses. No more, no less. There's no heart in the world. All we have is heat and not heart. May God have mercy on you. Amen. Honey, it's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry that you are welcoming you back with the, with the quarrel. Hey, this girl wants to, she wants to kill me. No, let us, uh, let us pull down this house. Let us pull down this house because of Anita. Let us so oh, we are pulling down this house. Eh? Hey. Hey. Chinek. Hey. Mommy. If I don't belong here, someone should tell me. Oh. Because I've been hearing so many side talks. Hey, mom. How can you say you don't belong here? Of course you belong here. This is your home. You are my daughter. This is your house. Eh? Don't mat your sister. Don't, don't mind this mad dog. Don't let them deceive you. Everybody must not belong. It is not a must that you belong. Everybody must no, not belong. I, 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 you better take your time before I deal with you. Honey, 
they might be borrow money to call the psychiatric hospital. I think I'm going to recommend the patient for them. Of course, because he has gone mad. Yes. I have gone mad. I have gone mad because of my right, I have gone mad. You people should come, oh. We've not finished. You people should come and wait. We've not finished. Where are you going to? Come, let us finish. Come, come, let us give us supporting Anita. Eh? Come out. Me, I'm not finished, though. I'm not finished. Come out, let us finish, oh. Let us finish. We've not finished. I say, come on, let us finish. Hello, Diary. Good day, Uncle Napo. How are you? I'm good. And uh, where's your sister? She went out in the morning. Why not call her phone? Uh, that would be necessary because she's expecting me. So okay. I'll rather wait, okay? Let's go in. No, not too fast. Hello, darling. How are you? Hello. Hello. You're not looking bad at all today. Thank you. And what are you doing here? What are you doing with this little girl? Does she know your sister. Let's go inside. This is for my baby. How was your journey? Uh, it was good. Um, just that I almost missed my flight. Okay. And I missed it too. <laughs> Sweetie. Yeah. If I ask you this question, will it upset you? No, why? Ask your question. Okay. What were you discussing with my sister when I came in? I mean. That little girl, Anita. Lynn, don't tell me you're even suspicious of your own sister, too. It's not that. It's just that we're living in a world where every wise person trusts nobody. Mm. Yes. Well, if he might interest you, I arrived and the innocent girl came out to welcome me innocently. And he was about ushering me in when you arrived. Does that satisfy your curiosity now? It's okay. It's just I don't like little girls for riding me. Sister, does this belong to Uncle? I saw it close to his car. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. God oh, bless you. Here. Yeah. What is happening here? How do you mean? I don't understand. Here. Yeah. <sighs> Napoleon. Why must she be the one to pick your hanky? Hmm? Why must she be the one? Oh, you did not throw away your hanky at your place. You didn't throw it away along the road. You now chose to throw it away here in our house. So that you help you and pick the handkerchief, eh? So she help you and pick the handkerchief. Let me tell you, I have brains. I am very, very clever, Napoleon. Very clever. <laughs> Liam. Hmm. I see you're taking this thing too far, way over the board. And like you know, I just arrived and I'm suffering a little bit of jet lag. Yeah. Therefore, I'm not in the mood for all this at all. And moreover, it's getting late. I have to be on my way. Have a good day. Napoleon! Napoleon, come now! I was only making an analysis now! Hey, Napoleon! Napoleon! Anita! Sister! Anita, sister, I've observed each time my friend comes around, you like looking at him somehow. And you must stop that nonsense. Sister, I don't understand. You don't understand? Hmm? Next time his hanky drops on the floor, do not pick it. Even his toothpick, do not pick it. Hmm? And anytime I'm, I'm in this house discussing with Napoleon, I don't want you crossing around and shaking those your little, your, your, your small hips. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Sister, mm -hmm. I don't understand what you're accusing me of. Mm. Napoleon is my danger zone. Do you understand me? Napoleon is my danger zone, so don't cross. 
don't want cross. Do you understand that? Napoleon! Napoleon, please wait for me! Are they going to do this? Sorry for keeping you waiting. Shall we? Yeah. Oh, please. Please. I want you to look around and see if you're not forgetting another hanky. Lena. Mm -hmm. Lena. Mm -hmm. Any more of this your nonsense joke? You stay back in your father's house, you hear me? Yes, I was even thinking of cancelling the outing. Considering the fact that we may see so many girls there. Maybe you start sweating again. Wh whoever told you that I was taking you out on a date? No, tell me. Even if we're going to the post office, off I go with you. Come, um, let's go, Joe. Mounts. <laughs> let's go. Daddy, Mommy, is there any problem? You poor have been hiding a lot from me in this house. And I've been standing there watching both of you. Was there a quarrel? Anita, there was no quarrel. Mommy? I think I'm old enough to know everything happening in this house. Both of you have been sitting here moody. Remember the state of your health. If both of you quarrel and you don't want the third party to come into it, why not settle the matter? Forgive yourselves. Anita, you will not understand. Mommy, look at your eyes. I'm sure you have been crying. Is it because there is no sun in this house? That same old matter. Mommy, God is the giver of children, and He will do it in His time. Amen. You talk like an old woman, my daughter.
You know you said last time you stop at nothing to make me happy. Or do I need a special favor for that to happen? How is your sister doing anyway? My sister. Yes. Anita. Do you have an appointment with her? Appointments? Mm -hmm. I don't understand what you have with that girl. I can't say why you cannot remove your eyes from my sister. Exactly like I don't understand why you have to hate her that much. After all, she's your sister. Sweetie, she's my sister. And it's my family business. We know how to deal with it. Okay. Well, honey, when am I actually coming to see your parents? When do you think it's, it's going to be convenient? You're usually at my place now. It's just that you've not made your intention known to my parents. You know what? I'll do it this time around. I'll see them. Okay. However, um, there's something I've been meaning to discuss with you. What is it? It's just that the atmosphere has not been very convenient for us to talk about. But I think it's time that I, I say it now. What is it? Uh, I need you to... Um, I just wanted to tell you that it, it's high time you try and overcome. Uh, I'll overcome it now. Yeah? What do you think I'm talking about? You're talking about my gentleness. Yeah. Oh. What else do you want to hear from me? Honey, take. Excuse me, guys. You don't want to eat. <laughs> mm. Well, I am not against it. I am not against it, but I am of the belief that both of you are mature enough to take a decision on an issue like marriage. And by the way, why do you need to shift this event away from this December period? You know that this time, price of petrol goes up and every other commodity natural, naturally follows. The one that has a point there, a very strong point. Dad. If Napoleon has the money to undertake the expenses, why stop him? It's my day. My friends are coming. My shape is with 51. And I'm not wearing anything short less than gold. It's my day. At least Napoleon understands. Eh! Ozola is enough. Uh -uh. You have to learn how to trim your husband's extravagance. My daughter, you're going to be his wife. And I want you to be Odoziako. Help him, you know, manage his wealth, spend his money wisely. And not for him to spend all his money just, or just on one event. And one, there is life after a wedding. You see, we called you here to tell you one or two things. This is marriage you are going into, mm -hmm. and not friendship. Yes. You must look inwards. And get rid of all those tendencies that are capable of turning the devil against you in your mind. Of course. Huh? Why don't you just go straight to it? My daughter, we are your parents. We are here to tell you the truth, no matter how bitter it is. You must learn how to be tolerant. Mom, you are too hot. Huh? My dear, men of these days, <laughs> they hardly tolerate you. So, my dear, you have to slow down. And one more thing. You must avoid this habit of picking unnecessary quarrels over little nothings. You have to be calm, my dear. You know that? Mom and Dad. You both know I have those fine qualities that every man wants in a woman. But you don't have enough of them. And the earlier you start impairing them, the better for your future as a man. I hope we have made ourselves clear on this. Yes, you have. Did you say you wanted to go somewhere? Yes, to go and see my husband. Hmm. Oh, my yoka. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> bye. 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 Say all's well to him, man. Eh? Okay. She looks so happy these days. Yes, she is. But just that, I am, I am worried. Worried about what? She's too impatient. Eh? Right. Don't worry. Eh? Don't that worry. That is a problem. Marriage will calm her down. I hope so. I sincerely hope so.
Sweetie, you're not know, coming my cooking. Honestly, you know this one? Super. Thank you. <laughs> you got me here. This is a nice one. Thank you. You're welcome, my love. Bobody, <laughs> have you thought about um, what we discussed the other day as per, as it regards to your work? Oh, I was still discussing that. Of course. I thought I told you before I don't like civil service. I don't want to be a civil servant. Okay, I agree. But what if I open up a say, supermarket or a business center for you? What do you say? Are you not in a hurry? Just allow me to think of something suitable to do, okay? Okay, no problem, you win. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you want to rape me? <laughs> so I can't have the quiet, romantic, wonderful moment with my wife again, eh? Is that why they want to mark me to bed from here? Eh? What is it? I just don't understand you. Why are they trigger you playing on me? Okay, so because I've been keeping quiet, you think I don't know what to do? Or I don't know how to do it? Eh? What do you want to do? Tell me, Napo. Oh. What do you want to do? No, let me come for you so you start it. Hmm? One, Napo. Two, Napo. Three, Napo. Do it now. Come and do it. Come and do it. Yes. You want to do. Come and do. Please, just do. Come and do. Just, just grow. Up. Just, just grow up, please. What nonsense. Come on. You want to do? Come and do. What to do? Yes. Who is that? I don't know. Open the door now. Let's know who the person is. Hmm. Hmm. Am I in the right place? But well, actually, I'm looking for leader. You are looking for Lena. Yes, ma'am. Do they still live here? She now stays in her husband's house. Husband's? House? Is there anything the matter? And please, who are you? Well. I am Mr. Fineface. We used to be friends, um, good friends back in the days. <laughs> Do you have a way I can see her? You need to tell her that Mr. Fineface wants to see her. So you want me to show you the way to a married woman's house? Oh, so you can go and renew your old relationship? Oh, come on, come on. I don't mean that exactly. Come on, by the way, are you her sister? Because before I left the country, she was the only child of the family. And afterwards, I became another child of this family. Does that satisfy your puzzle? You know, I think I like you. You speak intelligently. Mm. Mm. Okay. Give me a second. A second, I'll be with you, okay? You stay right there. Don't make a move. I'll be with you. Mr. Five Face will be with you. Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. I need you to do me a favor. Oh, please, why don't you give this to my beautiful leader? I will do just that. Oh, thank you very much. I owe you one. Uh, by the way, what's your name? Anita. Anita. 
Adita. Yes. Such a beautiful name. I have something for you, Adita. <laughs> okay, my dear. This is for you. I don't need the money. Oh, come on, take it. This is from the depths of my soul. I don't buy it. I know you did not ask for it. From the depths of my soul. Take it. Okay. There you go. Thank you. You walk, my dear. <laughs> oh, God, I um, think Mr. Fine Face needs to be on his way. I'll see you some other time. I will take care of you, okay? Take care of you, my dear. That's all. Uh, my beautiful leader, Mr. Fine Face, is in town. So honestly, I, I didn't want it to look like I'm complaining too early in my marriage. Anyway, don't worry. I will um, sit down and talk to her. Lena should not be that stupid. I used to think she has some kind of respect for you. So you know, I, I never wanted to say this, but if not because I dated Lena for a very long time, I wouldn't have married her. Anyway, thank you for taking it necessary to inform me. Mm? You did the right thing. I will talk to her. So please, you better do. You, you better do because she's becoming very heady. Yeah? As a matter of fact, she's she's incorrigible. She, to say the least, she's unteachable. Huh? But honestly, this character she's putting up now is not something I used to know her for. Never mind. Don't worry. I promise I'm going to talk to her. Mm? Um, I remember that um, early years of the marriage is never easy. Uh, it's by drowning that the child learns how to swim. Okay, so, um, let me run along, sir. I got a lot to do in the office. Okay, have a nice day at work. Um, like I said, uh, think less and pray more. Right. Remember, the room was not built in a day. What did you tell my parents about me today? What did you tell my parents? I made them to call me and start asking me questions. Talk to me now before I get angry. I think I'm joking. You think I'm joking? Hmm? You think I'm joking, eh? You weak man. What did you say, my parents? Just small problems, just small family problem. You couldn't solve. You went and reported me to my parents. Nonsense. Lena, I've been holding myself. I don't think I'm over your stupidity, but please don't push me. Don't push me! Because if you do, I'll teach you a lesson you'll never forget in time. Teach me a lesson. You teach me a lesson. You. I never knew you were like this. If I knew you were like this, I wouldn't have married you. I should have been the one saying that to <laughs> you. All men are heartless and wicked. And you're helping me to prove it. So you found out late. <laughs> Napo. Since you married me, what is it that you've done for me? Eh? How many shoes have you bought for me? Even clothes? Apart from the, 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 the wash and wear. Buy on Friday. Wash on Saturday. Tell me. How many things have you bought for me? Look at me very well. Was I like this when you married me? Was I like this? Idiot. You're nothing but an epidemic. What? That's what you are, Napo. Have you ever seen a leprosy patient? Eh? Napo, you're one. See, as a matter of fact, the government should know this. 
that someone needs to be quarantined. Yes. Someone needs to be quarantined. And that person is you because you're carrying Ebola. And Ebola virus, that's what you. Just, just get, get, get out of my way. Hey, hey. Oh, you're pushing me, eh? You're pushing me. Hey, hey. Now, bro, we've not finished, though. If you know you were mad, come and touch me. Come and beat me. Now, bro, ever since you married me, look at me. What am I gaining from you? Nothing. Look at me. Look at me. When you married me, was I like this? You finished everything about me. Look at me. Just imagine even the clothes I'm wearing. You see that thing you want to show me? You must teach me that lesson in this house today. You must teach me that lesson. Stupid man. You're not a man now. If you're a man, come back here. Come back and touch me. Come back and touch me. Hey! Hey! Napo, if I get up from here, if I get up from here, hey, if I... Hey, it's just because of this shoe I'm wearing, though. Know? Because I know you can't do anything. Come back and fight me, shameless man. Shame, come and fight me now. Shame, you won't fight. Come and fight me. I will leave this house. I will leave this house for you. You will come and look for me. Shame, you will come with a cow. Before I will come back to this house. If I don't see that cow, I won't come back. I won't come back. It's yours. What are you doing here? I thought you ran away last night. You want me to run away? I will not run away. This is our house and not your house. I see. Uh, okay then. Now you have come back. You better learn how to stay here in peace. If not, I will throw you out in pieces. <laughs> it is not every woman you throw out. Hmm? You better have that in mind. If you manage to throw me outside, I will throw myself back inside again. Good. Okay. Since you have learned how to wag your mouth, next time, I will find out if you're the only person who has the right to madness. <laughs> hey! Never so! Napa wants me to run away. I will not run away. I will not. <laughs> you want me to run away so you bring in that girl? It won't work. If I see any woman here, I will give her a hot water bath. Even acid. Stupid Napo. Senseless Napo. Is it not just this Napo? Is there anything that remaining in you? Point of correction. My name is Napoleon. And not Napo. Mm. Nonsense. <laughs> Napo. Napo, come back here. We've not finished quarreling. Come back, let's finish. Who must that be? He said he was your friend before he traveled abroad. My friend. Jesus Christ! Sister, why are you shouting Jesus Christ? Any danger? Who is the man? Did he hurt you? Did he say you were coming back again? I think he said so. I'll be going. Sister, who is Fine Face? Fine. Lena, my daughter, I decided to have this chat with you one-on-one. -on -one. I am worried the way things are going on between you and your husband. When a woman rubs shoulders with her husband, it only makes the man to become more acrobatic. This incessant quarrels between you two will only create room for another woman's smooth entry into your home. You had better be very careful, my dear. Mom, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Does that complain over every little thing you do? Does it whistle to, to high heavens over the things you do? 
Even the ones you should ignore. Your daddy provokes me many times in a day. But if I don't tell you, you will not know. You had better learn to be tolerant. Overlook certain things. Hmm. Mom, Napoleon's own is too much. He knocks over everything. He knocks over every little thing in the house. This is what I'm saying. Nothing exposes a woman's weakness like idleness. Your husband wanted to get you a job. And you refused. Why? Huh. Me, Lina. Civil service. God forbid. What about the supermarket you wanted to open for you? Hey! Supermarket. Ha! <laughs> Me, Lina supermarket. <laughs> you don't want job. You don't want supermarket. So which one do you want? No wise man who wants his wife to just sit at home and be idling away. It doesn't work like that these days. There is nothing as good as having somebody, a woman, they have somewhere to go to in the morning and they come back later in the day. It is necessary. I've heard you. One more thing. You have to try to be of good behavior so as to attract favors from your husband. Always cook his choice meals. That way, his mind will always be at home. And you'll see, things will start improving between you two. Okay, mom. But I will not do more than my best. I will try and see your husband so as to talk to him too. Mom, what do you want to tell him? Don't worry. Leave that to me. That's right. I am here. Though did you run my errand? Yes. I wonder what exactly you wrote at the back of the envelope that nearly made her cry. Did she cry? Kind of. Uh, oh, well, I'm sorry about that. All right? What exactly do you want from my sister? I prefer to be a little more personal on that angle. If you want to be personal about it, why then do you use me as your go-between? Yeah. I'm sorry about that. Sorry for getting you all worked up. But you know what, Anita? I still need a favor from you. What? I need her digits. I need her number. Come on, don't give me that look, go. I am harmless. <laughs> Haven't you caused her enough harm by making her cry? Who are you for Christ's sake? And what exactly do you want from my sister? I am Mr. Fine Face. And I just rode in from Ghana in desperate need to see your sister. That will be my utmost desire. Your utmost desire? To see another man's wife? Well, men see other men's wife depending on the motive. So, what is the motive here? Her number. Move. Silly girl. What did you just say inside? Hey, Anita. You now go about hooking me up with strangers, eh? I'm asking you. Sir, he was so bent on collecting your number, and after some time. Nya, 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 nya. And you foolishly gave it to him. Hmm? 
Maybe one of these days someone will emerge asking for my head and you tell him where to get it. Hey, Anita. Sister, you talk as if you knew this man before and he offended you. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth, little girl. Watch your mouth. Sister, anyway, sister, he said you were your friend before he traveled to Ghana. Then anytime you see him, don't talk to him. Tell him to walk away. If he doesn't walk away, you have two legs. Walk away. Walk away. You're not Mumu. Walk away. Sister, I need to see this man. Huh. If this man talks to you, you have pity on him. And he's so worked up. Me. Have pity. Anita, get inside the vehicle. Get inside the vehicle. Sister. I wish to Wish to what? Get into the vehicle. Oh, Hold it. I'm not a married woman. Uh, Five is so it's true you're around. What are you sleeping on? Yeah. You know, it's been like a, a whole century, you know. What are you sleeping on? <laughs> so, what do you want from me now? I want you. You want me. You want the pregnant girl you denied and ran away from the country so many years ago. Did you hear yourself, fine face? No, no. I can't explain, okay? Please. Don't disturb me again. For every action, there is an explanation. I am now a changed man. Leader, this is not the time to apportion blames. I'm a changed man. Well, you're welcome back to the country. Thank you. Maybe you're also welcome back to your senses. You know, welcome back to me. I'm now a married man, married woman, so please leave me alone and never come back again. Neither. Like I rightly earlier said, this is not the time to apportion blames, okay? I am back to my senses. Alright? Before I left the country, you were pregnant for me. And you insisted that you were not going to terminate this pregnancy. Lena, look me in the eyes and tell me what became of that pregnancy. Fine face, time is no longer on my side. Please, never you disturb me again. Leader, lead. I'm sorry, sorry. We can work something out, my dear. Good day.
Hello, who is this? Good morning this morning, Lena. How are you doing this morning, my who love? This? Who is this? Oh, come on, Lena. You ought to have been used to this voice by now. Um, this is Mr. Fine Face. <laughs> what do you want? I've told you before to leave me alone. I'm somebody's wife, please. Please, just, just keep away from me, okay? Keep away from me. Lena, I want you to do me a favor. What stupid favor? I want you to check up on your phone balance. I sent you 3,000 naira worth of airtime. I also need your account number so I can send you money from time to time for your upkeep and that of my child. I was um, informed that you did not terminate the pregnancy as you insisted. <laughs> I know someday, my sweetheart, I know someday deep in my soul that one day I am definitely going to be with my child to part no more. <laughs> it will pay you no dividend trying to be unnecessarily possessive because you're boxing in the air and you achieved nothing. You will achieve nothing. Well, Lena, let me bring you up to speed. There's something you do not understand here, okay? Hello? Hello, Lena? Lena? What rubbish? Has he appeared again? He'll put money in my account. What does he really have? Why is this rugged man back again? Three thousand naira airtime. Does fine face want from me? Fine face. What do you really want from me? Look, I am, I am very worried. Very, very worried. Anita is becoming too inquisitive. And if we don't do anything, I am, I am afraid. The card may be let out of the bag too soon. I am more worried. I am more worried. I can't hold myself anymore. I want to say something. What would you gain by divulging that? I'm, I'm, I'm not sure you understand the gravity of this thing you're trying to do. Just stop the two forward. I do. I do. The most important thing is that she must know the truth. Oh, you must tell her the truth and have her believe that I've been deceiving her. Eh? Fine face has been losing about. He came into the country last month, and since then he's been pestering for the whereabouts of his daughter. Come, how come he was able to trust you in the first place? I don't know. <sighs> Yesterday, someone was teasing me, saying I shouldn't have joined the, the Christian mothers. According to him, he said I'm not yet a mother. <laughs> I see. Is that why you are mounting all the pressure? But Five Face, Five Face has been pestering me with calls. Am I sure that the law of nature is not swinging around us now? But it will be wiser if we control things now before friction occurs. Anita is too young, way too young, to bear emotional trauma. 
My dear, don't do anything that would jeopardize your marriage. Hmm? If it has become so important to reveal the past, <laughs> I tell you, there are lots of pasts in my house that if we begin to reveal them, someone will hurt someone. Hmm? To let the cloud and shadows of yesterday go with yesterday. How do you mean? I mean, we should not tamper with the sleeping eyes of the past because it could be ridiculously dangerous. Hmm? finding it difficult to say this but one way or the other I must say it I understand that you are married I know I also know that I got you pregnant against your wish for all this I'm sorry but please, show me my child. I am informed that you did not terminate the pregnancy. I have this feeling that I am stepping on another man's toes. My dear, ever since you left me, I have not been able to find another girl to feel the vacuum that you created. Thank you. Yes, my dear. Who made the vacuum? You or me? Oh, oh. Who ran away from his partner? You or me? Those who run away from challenges are nothing but cowards. Full blended cowards. Full blended rock headed platform cowards. Well, maybe you're right. Maybe I was a coward. I was a coward. That was dead. But today, I am not a coward. I am back to claim that which belongs to me. Well, since you have refused to give me your account number, I have a gift for you. Right here with me is an open check of 500,000 naira. Fill the space and cash it at your convenience. It would please me to know that your husband is not laying claims of my child. I don't need your check. My dear, take it. It's not as if your husband cannot afford it. And neither am I trying to lampoon your financial status quo. My love, take it. Please, don't make references at my husband. Please take the check. Okay? There's a 500,000 naira check. I am not cheapening you by doing this. Okay? It is 500,000 naira. Still does not mean that you are not the hard-hearted, mean leader that I used to know. Take it, leader. Lead me not into this temptation. And deliver me 
from the evil of keeping my child away from me. Talking later. Later, I'm not finished yet. I was still talking about my generation, about my future, later, about my life. From me. You just cannot take my child from me! I smell blood, Lena! Blood does not lie! Blood communicates! Blood relates, Lena! Nobody can take my child away from me! There is somebody that has been disturbing Sister Lina for some time now. Who is the man and where did you meet him? I mean it. If you ask Sister Lina, she will tell you that someone has been disturbing her. What type of tell is that? The day the man came here, he met me and started ghosting. He told me he was her former boyfriend before he left Nigeria. And ever since, he has been sending me either to call Sister Lina or for Sister Lina to call him. You mean something like this has been happening and you get to talk to yourself without letting us know? I thought he was wasting his time until I met him again. When he started telling me that Sister Lina had something that belongs to him, which she is keeping. Something that belongs to him? What, what, what kind of strange fellow is this? Daddy, is it true that Sister Lina once had a baby outside marriage? Who told you that? His name is Mr. Fineface. Is that what he calls himself? Yes. Daddy, is it true that Sister Lina once had a baby for a certain fine face? Well, no, it's not true. The man said that she was pregnant for him before he left Nigeria and he was sure that she didn't do away with the pregnancy and he was talking very seriously. Uh, next time he comes, make sure you bring him inside and then call my attention. I need to see this Mr. Fine Face. The man said that my parents knew about it and I should ask them. My daughter, we will not say anything until we see that man and know the source of his story. Yes. Daddy, are you alright? It, it, it's okay. Yeah. I thought this was supposed to be a brief discussion. 
So why are you keeping me? My dear leader, please don't be offended. Okay? I would not be this desperate. Show me my child. Then I'll let you have your marriage. What child? The one you denied and abandoned when we needed you most. Please find face. If you don't have anything to say, let me leave here. You see, Lena, when I traveled to Ghana, little did I know that I was going to jump rock there. If you know the hard life, the rough life I was living in Ghana. Lena, September of that year, I fell sick. And I spent 18 good months in the hospital, Lena. After being in the hospital and the sickness had got my body, I started noticing some abnormalities in my body. Please find face. Cut this your, your history class. Make this your history class brief. Later, I visited hospitals, medications, treatments. There was absolutely nothing I did not do, Lena. I have been most tempted to visit a native doctor. But my dear, all to no avail. I got married and I discovered that I could not get a woman pregnant. And I wept. I wept in, in, in the dark rooms of my hotel. I wept, Lena. Lena, my said wife, they looked with a lover. You see, take a look at me. I am fairly comfortable. But there is something missing in my soul. Something is missing in my life, and that is the joy of fatherhood. You know, I need to see my child. So, what are you driving at, fine face? I decided to come back home and look for you. I know that you did not terminate the pregnancy you had for me. Then, Lena. Fine Face wants to see his child. See Fine Face, I don't want people to see us here and start gossiping. You know, I do not care. God forbid that I would come between you and your marriage. I would never do such a thing later. But I need to see my child. Is it too much for a father to ask? Fine Face, have you come here to stir up emotions? God forbid, Lena. Have you sold my child to some desperate child seekers? Excuse me. Lena! Lena! So it has come to that. We must invite Lena for a discussion. That idiot has come to spoil the stew. And we can't let him have his way. We must not allow her see him again. What do you say? Well, I, I support that. I support that, but Lena must be spoken to first of all. Because she said that Lena is aware of it. That means that Fine Face has been disturbing Lena and she's been keeping it to herself. When she comes, we will discuss that with her. What are you trying to do? I want to call her. No. If you 
still at this time. She may not sleep this time. So we better let it to tomorrow. <laughs> They are fine. Sister, that's why you are here this early. Am I safe? There's something I want us to discuss. And that is why I'm here. Sister, have you seen Mr. Fine Face for some time now? <laughs> so despite all my warnings, you went ahead to see him. Sister, he saw me yesterday somewhere. And he told me that there's something that belongs to him, which you are keeping. And what is it? Anita, how many times have I warned you not to talk to strangers? You mean Fine Face went, went and told you all these miserable lies and you believed him? Sister, he said you were pregnant for him before he left Nigeria. And you didn't do away with the pregnancy. He even said that maybe you had a baby and sold it away. You mean Five Face told you all those things? Yes, Yes. Why is your face looking like this? What happened? Dad, I thought I told you and mom that fine face is in town. Yes, you did. There's a problem. She met with fine face and fine face told her I passed with him. Yes, she came also. Trying to find out if you ever had a child for Fine Face and where the child is now. I think that Fine Face man is pushing the beam of a foundation. Dad, what do we do now? Anita is becoming too inquisitive. Dad, look, my dear, you don't have to worry yourself. Um, I, I cautioned Anita not to see Fine Face again. Dad. I also told her the same. But she seems not to be convinced about our truth. Like I said, don't worry yourself. Five Face will soon fizzle away with his accusations. Huh? Alright, Dad. I'll go back to my office. Have a nice day. I'm talking about. What are you driving at? You know Please, I'm busy. I'm, I'm busy. You, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. And I don't take business calls when I'm in the kitchen. Business? A business? Business call, Lina? Lina, 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 who's talking about business here? Lina, it is, it is me, Mr. Fine Face. Yes, I know. Some people don't have manners. And I believe you're one of them. Please proceed to the nearest hospital for immediate treatment. I diagnose you of acute madness. Lena, Lena, okay. I, 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 don't, I don't, please, I, I, I'm dying here, Lena. But I need to know about my child. Is it, is it a boy or a girl? Who was 
for me just that want to introduce me to a new business. And I refused. They don't force me. All right then. Okay, honey, I, I'll soon be with you. I'll, 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 I'll soon be with you. Worry my sister all the time. He said that your sister has something that belongs to him. Yes, he says so. If he is worrying your sister because of that thing, what on earth will that be? The worst is that he refused to come out clear. There must be something else. My sister never had a child for anyone. Even now that she's married, she's yet to have a baby. Shoes, wouldn't you look for your child? No, tell me, if you were in my shoes, wouldn't you look for your child? All the way from Nigeria to Ghana, Ghana to Nigeria. Higgledy, Piglidy, in search of my child. Higgledy, Piglidy, in search of my child. Huh? Tell her to show me my child. What is your problem? I am talking your child. Tell her to show me my child. Talking her. My goodness, is this not Mr. Fineface? Who? Huh? Who goes there? Anita, it is you. Anita, it is you. Anita, Anita, I said tell your sister to give it to me. What is happening to you? What is happening to me? What a question! Your sister is happening to me, Anita. Tell your sister to give to me what rightfully belongs to me and have her peace. My child, she has my child. Tell her that, Anita. Now back to you. Before I was rudely interrupted by Anita. This is getting out of hand. I need to hurry home. If you were in my shoes, what would you do? My source of happiness taken away from me. And the broad daylight. Would you just stand here and do nothing? <laughs> Anita, why are you crying? What is the matter? Daddy, I saw Mr. Fine Face. The man that said that my star has something that belongs to him. He's becoming mad. Is that why you're crying? <laughs> yes, Daddy. He's shouting and talking nonsense. And when he saw me, he recognized. 
recognized me. He recognized you? Yes, Daddy. And when I asked him, he said my sister knows what was happening to him. Is that why you're crying? Why are you so emotionally attached to that man? Why can't you ignore him for once? <laughs> ignore him? Anyway, I know how you feel. It's all right. She has not been herself. She's even having nightmares. No. What if my face come back into the country? Why has he come to untie an age-long nurse? This is not the time to be asking questions. This is the time to look for answers. I think you have to come back and see Anita. I should come back and see Anita. And tell her what, Mom. Five is even told her publicly that you know what is happening to him. So if I should come and see her, what do I tell her? Mom, I don't quite get it. Um, I think we have to let your husband into the middle of this. The earlier we do that, the better for us all. Anita too should not be left behind the cloud anymore. She has to know what is happening. My dear, crying will not solve this problem. Hmm? Stop crying. Let's think of what to do. It's okay, it's okay. Stop crying. Eh? There you are. Leader, tell your dad. How are you? Honey, who is this? Uh, I, I used to know him. You used to? <laughs> she still knows me. Honey, you mean you know a madman? Huh? What kind of embarrassment is this? Hey, hey, are there no security people here? Somebody should come and throw this fellow out. Leader, before I left this country, I begged you, Leda. I pleaded with you to terminate the pregnancy, but you refused. Now that I am back in search of my own, my blood, you dribble me like C. Ronaldo. But I go tell you, say, I be messy. Back at number 10, I show hey, no hey, mercy. Hey, hey. Listen to me. If you say one more word to my wife, you won't like me. Like Chale, wait till you go to. Don't you dare me! I say, wait till you go to, Chale. Break up close, that can leave you. Just better be careful. Now, Chale, you got a baggy RIP here. Calm down, though. Be careful. But however, what's, go what's really going on here, honey? How come this guy knows your name? What's going on before I lose it? Uh, I I'll tell you everything I'll get to. Go where? You there, Chris? If you dare come close to my wife, you won't like me. You hear me? Uh, honey, get it to the camera. Get it. They say get it, they attack at you. Now let me warn you. You be careful of married women, you hear me? You hear me? You better be careful. I say salé doa. Don't you dare me. Die doa. Stupid. God see.
Now tell me, Lynn. What is it that you had in the past with that lunatic? Honey, please drive to my parents' house. Oh, now it's not your parents' house. We're no longer going home, right? Yes, yes. Lynn, tell me. So, oh, 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 wait, hold on. So you actually had a child for some other person and you kept it away from me? Honey, please, now just drive to my parents' house, please, I beg. Tell me everything here and now or, or, or before, before I blow your head into pieces. Honey, I, I need someone to hear this. Please just drive and don't drive to my parents' house, please. I beg you, please just drive on, please. Why do you call me here? What is happening? Yes, sir. Uh, that's the same question that I, I love to ask. Because we're just coming from the city, I and my wife. And we met this funny man who was seeing a lot of funny things about my wife called her names and when I inquired from her she said I should hold on that when we get to this place that she's going to tell me everything that I need to know that moreover that Anita needs to be there when she will say what she has to say so please can somebody help me explain what is actually going on Lina spill it out or I will talk the pressure is getting too much what is that? I need to... I have to tell you this. That man fine face is your father. What? Jesus. The man that has the best trainers is your father. And... You now here is your mother. She is not your elder sister, as you were told. You people are getting me confused. No. Don't be confused. It happened when I was much younger. This one you're not in Is there any problem? Look, Papa, I think you make you come on Sunday. Today that Friday. But you I got no rush. Sure. It's like you're expecting an girl. God forbid. How did I go say you'll you be the baby boy again now? Huh? I wouldn't see another. Don't they really talk like this now? I'm still in my right senses. So. I want to spend the weekend here. Yeah. I'll stay from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and even Monday. You know, my parents travel, they won't be back till next week. You say, with you? I'll stay Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. My parents are not in town, they traveled. They won't be back till next week. Joy! Little work, no day this house. Oh. Work, no food, no day. Oh. Hey, just give me money, I'll go to the market and I'll buy something, I'll cook something for us to eat. Yeah. Hey, give me money, I'll go to the market, I'll buy something and I'll cook for two of us to eat. I'll go take some. You start here first. Thank you. Just give me money, I'll go to the market and I'll buy something to cook for two of us to eat. Where can I give you money? Mm -hmm. Thank huh? you. No. You know what wash down? See my neighbor, okay? Ask her what that if you give me small, small thing. Yeah, that's cool. Fine. Let <laughs> go, man. Thank you. Yes. Don't go to my job. Like you're not the use keeper. I get fine, fine, I wish. What is it? Uh, 
I say, what is it? What is it? What do you mean by what? What is it? Is what is it? Huh? I understand. We could do something. Make I understand what you did talk, you know. Well, wait, explain. I make I understand. What do, what do you mean by what is it? My friend, give me something. Let me chop. You're telling me what is it? Fine face. Don't fine face me now. When I'm in this mood, don't fine face me. The only thing that will cure this mood is if I go there. Huh? Huh? Fine face. Uh -huh. I'm seeing my period. Huh? I'm seeing my period now. Hey, uh, you're seeing what? I'm seeing my period. Hi! Thank God. Now, when did they sweet pass now? You know, I've no, I, I never tell you before. If I go there where you they see your pillow and they, before you know, I don't the jack like this. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know the jack like but to me, it just works. I don't tell you. Just leave me back and go there. You want to force me? Even the order. <laughs> well, wait, 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 wait. You want to force me, eh? You want to force me? Serious, force you. You make me go borrow money from my neighbor. We don't work, finish. You don't add weight, I add weight. Now make we exercise, burn, burn the fat. You know what make we burn up? Be careful. The <coughs> God will punish you. The God will, no. if that I want, they don't punish me, say so. Better go on the floor and sleep. Go on the floor and sleep because only me will sleep on this bed. Which generation are you from? Come. I should go to the floor and sleep in my own house, Lida. In my own house. See, I need to. What is this? Lida, did you wear brass? What? Leave me alone! Will you give me something? I should go to the floor and sleep in my own house, Lida. My friend. Give me something. Just a bit. I don't want to keep you quiet, Abi. I don't want to keep you quiet. Abi! Again, let's go now. I said, let's go. Mom, I don't want to be again. What do you mean you don't want to be again? Hmm? Look at you. Eh? Your body is so hot. You've not been well for the past few days. Even last night, you did not sleep. And you hardly fall sick. Feel your first day, Rachel. You're even adding weights. Lina. Hmm. Lina. Is there anything you're not telling me? <laughs> eh. Let it not be what I am thinking. Let it not be what I am thinking. Let's go to the hospital. Let's go to the hospital. You see what you've caused now? <laughs> you've made me pregnant and you're here relaxing. Brother, you want to remove this thing? I'll, I'll invite the police. You say for what? No, police? You get me well, you. You get me well, you. Hmm. You know my father very well. He doesn't take nonsense from foolish people like you. You better give me 40,000 now to go and remove this, this, this thing, no? Huh? 40,000 naira? Lena, malaria they do you. 40,000 naira make you take, remove one picking, I mean at 10. You think I'm joking? I'm not joking, no. Hmm. It's, it's like you want to stay in police detention, eh? Until you see yourself in police detention, you know I'm serious. You know, it's sweet you, it's sweet me. You carry belay, I understand. Come next week, I can find you some more change. Next week? 
Next week, so my mother will discover that I'm pregnant and she won't spare me. Hmm. You better give money to remove this thing, no? Lina, so your paladoma don't say you don't delude it. You can't carry the man, the threaten five face. Lina. Hmm. I won't say anything, no. See, look, you start giving 20,000 20, naira every week for Antinata. <laughs> Because then I Jesus Christ you carry. Oh, my friend, come next week, make I give you change. Make you go come out of. You think I'm joking, fine face? You think I'm joking? <laughs> fine face, you think I'm joking, eh? You think I'm joking? <laughs> oh my god, I live a freebie. Hey, instead I go give you 20 times, give you cigar, you smoke cigar, you go come out. Then I Jesus you carry. <laughs> Lina, I don't like the way you are taking this issue. I don't like the way you are taking the issue. But all of us are in this thing together. We are one family. It is not as if we are compelling you to do some difficult task. You just go ahead and have this baby and we would have had a second child in the house. You want to live alone, you want to stay alone. Huh? Dad. How can my child address me as sister? Come on, Lena, that is not important. Just go ahead and make me this promise. What if someone finds out in future? Lena, no one will find out as long as we are decided on it right now. Keep it a secret. No, but when? Dad. Yes. This is the height of experiment. I can't do this. I can't. Did I know what? If you remove this baby, if you remove this baby, I will make life very miserable for you. I will so frustrate you in this house that you begin to wonder. You want to try me? Just try me. And I will go and deal with that, that idiot who calls himself fine face. I will deal with him. Just go ahead and try me. You see where this thing comes from? You see, say he travel with me from a distance. Take up. Make you take this one. Go come out this thing. What is it for? Um, it's not Balari make you use go come out starting. Huh? I don't want to get problems with your parents. Please keep your money. I don't want to remove the baby again. Bakawa. It's personal. Personal reasons. Ah, 
you say if you bother that one that old school huh? Eh? You won't carry this thing, hold me later. Me, son of the sword, five face, you won't carry this thing. Hold me back, I come marry you. You lie. Not see. I don't see I'm finish. <laughs> Find another method, my friend. Carry this money, go come on that thing. Now me put her there. Huh? You go remove her. Because before you they rant, you they shout up and down. Just they shout and they look you. You don't even ask my opinion. Now nah, you go remove her. See, buddy. Fine face. Leave everything I buy with this baby true. I'll take care of it myself. You serious? Wait. I think they make you walk. Okay. Lila. The last time when you got here, you say 20k every week. Let me that. Ha! I don't catch you. Make me five face. They give you 20k every week. Lila. Lila, you don't get conscience, oh. You don't get conscious. You see that love what they tell you? Huh? That film love. From now on, make you play your league, make I play my league. Did they hear me so? Fine face. Am I not the one carrying the baby? Please leave me alone now. Yeah. You see your soul. What do you What you make you change your mind quick quick like this? I don't know. All I know is that you'll be taking care of me and the baby. And I'll use this one to take care of myself. And, and every month you'll give me 20,000 dollars for Antinetal. For Antinetal. I'll use this money to take care of me and my baby. And every week I come and take another money. For the bank where you get, Abby. You all hustle the hustle way at the hustle. They turn that locate your mouth. You didn't hear me? They turn that locate your mouth. You never reach one month where I become teacher. Now you walk on hustle by hustle. Sometimes they owe us for January, pay us for December. So that your plan don't fail. You see this one where I give you? A buru buru. So hold on where go come out this thing. I think God they beg you. See, I'm at the hold my ear, they tell you. If I beg, give me the money back. You sure say she go come out that day? Lily, did you tell him so? Yes, I did. You will hand over the child to me as soon as it is born. Your father and I will take care of you and the child as siblings. But you must promise me that you will stop meandering with irresponsible boys who are likely to put you into trouble in the future. But mom, for how long would my own child address me as a sister? As long as we all keep our mouths shut and make the child to reason as such. It's okay. Let's see how it all works out. Parents insisting I keep the pregnancy. At 
they using me to get another child? For how long would my own child call me sister? And indeed, I pretend to be her big sister. That was it, Anita. That was how you came to live here as my sister. So you are my true mother after all? Yes, I am. Why then do you hate me so much? Anita, the truth is that your father ran away. I never came back again. And each time I look at you, you reminded me of that wicked fine face. I had, I had to transfer the hatred I have for him to you. So I obtained the same hatred, hmm? It's okay. So you made my mother to sell her right of motherhood to you? Now I know why the stranger kept telling me that Lina was the only child of this family. No, Anita, it's okay. It's all right. Stop. It's okay. So you are my grandfather. And you chose to be called my father. Jesus Christ. Why are there so many liars in this house? Well, Lina... Since you've decided to bear the past, I think it will like it will interest you to hear this too. Interest her to hear what? Oh, she has to hear it. Shut up. Shut up. Dad. Keep your mouth shut. Dad. Whatever it is, just tell me. Just tell me because I'm ready to bust. Well, it's like today is meant for stripping of the past. Lena, you are not my ready daughter. Not in the very biological sense of it. That's how you came to be my daughter. So you people are not my parents either. Yes, but what? But what? Tell me! 
neither are you my real parents too. <laughs> it's what if cost now. Have you seen what if cost? What did I cost? Uh, Lina had to tell Anita that she's not her mother, her real mother. And I had to tell Lina that you are not her real mother too. So, Napoleon, I'm sorry. Uh, you are now part of this uh, twisted uh, history. No, it's, it's okay. It's okay, sir. I, I understand. I mean, in the true sense of it, it's actually no family without any secret of it waiting to be revealed someday at some time. You know, but my sincere advice to every one of us is you just be calm and take things the way they have come in our life. And truly, nothing has really changed because you people still remain our parents. That's why I say it. Where is she going to? Where is she going to? Where are they going to? Uh, if you'll excuse me, please, I need to find out what's I said it. I said it. So, Five Face is my father. I said it. There must be something between us. No wonder he keeps coming my way. Hi. Hi. Where will I see him? Hi. Where will I see him? Tell Lina. Tell the girl man to lock the gate. Go. Yes, madam. That was allow sleeping dogs to lie. See what you've caused. Uh, the sleeping dogs will lie better now that everything is exposed. Yes, I am here. I am here to collect that which is rightfully mine. My child, my blood. I am here. Lila, where's my child? Lila, I said, where's my child? I said, where's my child, Lila? You have driven me enough, Lila. I am done taking your nonsense, Lila. Lila, where is my child? I'll be put up inside there and I'll be go collect her. And I'll be back and I'll be back. You know what? Chale, wait till you. I remember your face. Chale, I said, wait till you. Chale, wait till you. Wait till I go, I go, I go see you now. Wait till you, sir. I said, you might begin. Lila, where might begin? Where might begin? I'm going to cry for you. Where might begin? I don't talk in a city slow motion. I go give you like you know. You know? I said, what about Pikini? You know, I don't talk in a slow motion. That girl that girl standing before you me is your daughter. Slow motion. You don't talk in slow motion. She's your daughter. The girl, the girl standing before you is your daughter. I don't talk in a point another person. I said, show my Pikini, they're bad. Huh? Show me my begin! She, she's your daughter.
That's your 200,000 there. Thank you. Yes. You see, Elena, better things will come your way if you maintain our new status quo. How do you mean our new status quo? When I asked you to, to help me, you were reluctant. You shrugged, maybe because you thought I wasn't going to give you the money. So how come your husband is down and flat? Well, it happens to me once in a while. But this one, I want to use it and sell to my landlord so he will stop embarrassing me. Okay, I understand. I should be on my way now. No, no, wait, wait, uh, Lena. Lena, wait. What is this we are into? Every other week, you come to collect money for one thing or the other. And uh, I am not your father, as it turned out. Please, don't go there. What if I get you a job? Will that suffice? You know I have all the contacts. You want to get me a job? So that tomorrow you tell the whole world that you got me a job that is losing me and my husband. No way. Thank you. Um, you see, I, I want you to... I want you to, you know... You know, be my girl, you know... My baby. And uh, let me, you know, change your economy for good. Dad. No, I can't stop thinking about it. Dad. Did you hear yourself? Oh, Lena. Stop calling me your dad. Don't call me your dad. I picked you up from the rubbish, you know, rubbish dome. I brought you up as a foster daughter. Until that uh, fire face came, I started blowing up everybody's hidden past. Now that we are, we discovered that we are different entities. Why not? We, you know, we just tell. Uh, please, please, please. Proposing the very impossible. Impossible. This is not impossible. Yes, this is a case of a man who is telling himself the truth and listening to the language and voice of his heart. Even when you lived in my house as my foster daughter. I know how I struggled to to resist, to resist, you know, the urge as I, you know, watch you grow into this beautiful skin of yours. Yeah, I mean, well, Lena, I wasn't going to pinch you. <laughs> Listen to me. Then. It was just a friendly touch. Lena, yeah. yeah. you know, I just, it's not something very, very difficult. Why are you doing this? Everybody's doing it. I, moreover, you are going to be better off for it. Especially now that your husband is broke. There's no money, no job. You understand? I'll leave it to you. I'm going to pull out of the night. I'll make you better. Let me go. Good day. Now you, 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 you are pleading with you. Don't want to say anything. Eh? What is the matter with you? Any more questions? Any more questions? Be fast about it because any moment from now I'll stage a workout. 
Who is that young man I saw hanging around you when I came to see you in the office? Yeah. Eh? I am beginning to suspect you, you know. Oh, you now chase me about, even to my office. What kind of rubbish is this? Are you my husband? You were my father then. You took care of me. And so what? Well, I'm, I may not be your husband, but I am something bigger. Please! Don't insult me any longer. Don't insult me. Insult you? Not even that your, that your weak husband, who's unable to take care of you, can start a chance in your life. I take care of you. I spend my money on you. You know that. I turned you into a big woman. But I'm asking for just a little thing. Yes, you are my foster father. But that doesn't give you the right over me. We don't even have the same blood. What is it? What are we even doing, self? Yeah, because we don't, we don't share the same blood. That's all the more reason why you should give me this thing. Eh? What, what am I asking you for? Just a little thing that you can offhandedly give me. Eh? I don't understand you, Lina. Eh? I thought we were agreed on this now. Haven't you agreed? Agreed on what? Tell me, agreed on what? Lena, it's not like that. I told you what I want from you. It's such a simple thing that. Please, I need some money. Here. Yeah. Money, what? Have you little thing you ask for money? Yet you are not agreed. I said I need some money. Uh, if I give you money, will I agree? Well, you, you every time you stretch your hand and collect money, as if you say, uh, you, don't, you don't suffer to make money. You, you think it's easy. I say I need some money. Hey, now you, you, I, I give you money, you give me what I want, that's all. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay. Hello, my sweetheart. There you are. There you are, my dear. Oh, look how beautiful you are. What must have created you on the sofa? <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Oh, God bless you. God bless your body. There you are. Oh, look at you. Always looking beautiful. <laughs> what is it? Five face. What is it? I've asked you to leave me alone. Oh, what come on. Come me? on, my dear. It is me. Okay? I know you must be wondering how I was able to locate you. But you see, as a matter of fact, whatever it is that matters to me, fine face will look it. <laughs> mm. You found your daughter. Isn't that over to me? I'm a married woman, so please let me be. No, oh, come back home, my dear. Come back home. Come back home so I can take you places you only see on TV. I know you're a married woman. I understand that. But ask yourself this question. Are you happy in that marriage? Five Yes, my dear. Can I tell you something? Yes, my dear. Please leave me alone. You know that's never gonna work. I know. Okay. Let the winds carry you. Right. Yes, please come down and collect what I bought for you. Oh, my baby, welcome. What is it again? You mean you allow me to walk? It's not my office again. What is it? Look, I love you. I want to have you. Anytime I look in your face, I feel like celebrating my 20 years again, my dear. And that's why you want to blow my phone. Drop it in my car. Huh? No, I, I, I don't want people to see me inside your car. I said, go and drop it in my car. Uh -uh. And one more thing. Uh -huh. This idea of hiding your car and sneaking down here to see me is what I don't like. Look, no, no, no. My wife may use the car to track me down here. And that's why I hide you somewhere and check down to this place. It's for our safety. <laughs> but are you sure? 
It's not the cost of all those that are small, small boyfriends. Please drop it in my car. <laughs> Please go. <laughs> Hey God, oh. men are so stupid. I think this one is worse. <laughs> so you'll be back soon, I guess. I will. It's open. Whoa. Somebody bought herself some new set of jerrys and left it in the car. Huh? And what's this picture doing here? These must be new because I've not seen them before. And they sure look expensive. But honey, what are they doing in your car? And why that look? Is it strange to you? I'm sure that stupid man must have kept it in my car. What stupid man are you talking about? My ex-father. The man that pretends to be my father. He lied to me all these years. He said he was my father. He lied. Now he lied to me. Honey, listen, I, I do understand how you feel. But, but what on earth will make you hate a man like that? Yes. That's the word now. I hate him. What? I hate him. Not this, not even, not, not even this chief jury will make me change my mind about him. Honey, but listen, he's probably doing this to, to get your mind softened and for you to understand how he feels. I mean, I, I, at that time in question, there is nothing he would have done. He gave you reason to leave. Come on. Now, this chief jury will not change my mind. You will not change the hatred I have for that man. He's not my father. So why, why, why is this picture in your car anyway? And how did he get access to your car? Please, look, look, just, just, just put them in my car, okay? What? Put them in my car, I'm going off to see him. Put them inside and let me leave. What? Drop it in my car. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I just don't understand why your life is so like this. I I've tried to fix it and try to understand you, but it's not fixing up. Why is your whole life full of mystery and suspense? Well, you see, uh, your wife do this simple at all. Meaning what? Meaning say... She did this one old fool. Who has a manufacturing company? Listen, fine face. Um, I can understand how you feel about my wife because of what happened between both of you in the past. But please, if this is a joke, I'd like to remind you that it's a very serious one and you have to desist from it. Lena and I are very well as regards to our love. We may have our differences like every other couple once in a while, but it has not affected our love in such a way that... Well, let me tell you something. 
From every indication you do not believe what fine face is telling you. But the truth there is that you're definitely going to believe when you catch a green handed. Don't worry, I'll arrange for two of you to meet. Fine face. What kind of drink were you offered where you're coming from? Because you sound very intoxicated and extremely high. I'm still in my right senses. Wasn't offered anything. Listen, fine face. I need not remind you that I was busy before you got here. And also, I'd like to go back to what I was doing. <laughs> well, I see that's an indirect way of asking me to leave. It's all good. But I want you to think about what I just told you. I, I was the leader. You see, as a matter of fact, leader is like an electric wire. Everybody uses it, but nobody owns it. I had my phone, my brother. It was awesome. I want to recall my experience with leader. That's exactly what I did when I had my share. I stretched. She's so good. Yes, well, you see this big. As a leader, she gave it to me real good, you know. When I was giving it to her, she felt my muscles. Service, you know. When I came in, she accepted me. I believe she was crazy. Hey! Five minutes, get out of my house. Leave my house this minute. Later, when I needed to see that pretty face, man. She's hot, man. She gave it to me, you know what I mean? I believe she'll never give it to you as good as she gave it to me. Get out of my house now! I believe it, dog. I believe it. Get out! And don't you ever step your foot across this door ever again. It's all good. I can handle that. Get the hell out of my house! You're too much. 100,000 Naira this hot afternoon. 100,000 Naira. Well, it's not my fault. 100,000 Naira for me. What I have to tell you is that it would be quite disastrous for you to try to revive your relationship with Fine Face. This is your matrimonial home. You are now a married woman. Is that why you're here? Please, spare me this lesson on marriage ethics. I've had enough. I know you now hate me so much. Is it because we lied to you about your reparentage? Even though you hate me, Lena, 
you are still my daughter. I still love you. My husband and I still see you as our daughter. Did you say your husband? Me, your daughter. Yes. Is there anything wrong with that? Excuse me. You got my call yesterday afternoon. Yes, I did. What did I say? Well, it was Greek to me. I didn't understand what you were saying. If I say it again, will you understand it? It all depends on how you say it. Look, Lina, I have told you to drop this audacity in your voice. We are here together. Tell me, what is it? The 100,000 naira check you gave to me yesterday was fake. I went to the bank and it bounced. See, if you don't want my problem, please quietly and gently write me another another check before I blow up the whole relationship thing. Before your wife. Look, Lina, it has not come to that. Eh? Just take it easy. Mm. You thought you could deceive me. You thought you could deceive me, Lina. Were you not who cooked up the, 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 the accident story? You framed the story. Well, um, I cooked an accident story and wrote a fake check. Two fake things running concurrently. What is wrong with that? Mm. Look, you can't deceive me. Lina is very, very clever. I am very, very clever. You can't deceive me. You cannot deceive me. Very clever. Mm, nobody's talking of deceiving you. You see, you see, Lina, anytime I say I love you, I mean it with a new kind of seriousness. Lina, I love you. I can't stop thinking about you. But you understand? Tomorrow morning, I'll put this money in your account. My dear. Okay. Don't touch me. Drop me to the park, I'm ready. Hmm? Can you do the phrase that statement? How do you mean? Which one is driving me to the park? You mean you are talking to me like your personal driver? Of course you have to drive me to the park. I had wanted to get a driver. You refuse. Thinking that I'll be having an affair with the driver. So my dear, you have to drive me to the park. Uh, the meeting is likely to take the whole day, so I'll definitely come back later. Okay. I'll drive you to the park, just because of one reason. Otherwise, women don't come at me like that. Go and work for me in the car.
Well, it's my property and um, I keep reporting it every now and then, you know, my business has to come around. You know what I'm saying? Good, because you really don't have much to get money. I didn't say that. So why did you bring me here? Well, let's say it's supposed to be a surprise to you. Surprise? Do I now look harmful to you? No. So, let's go. Get you something to drink. Hmm? Okay. okay. I wonder why you don't have house helps. A man at your level should be sending boys to do this. Look. This is a uh, red wine. It's good for your heart. Yeah. Let me get you a cup. I don't want to drink. No, why not? Don't you like drinking? Okay, if you don't want to drink it here, eh, take it when you get to drink it. Don't drink yourself. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm serious. I'm okay. Are you serious? Yes, I'm okay. Okay. If you don't, if you don't want to drink, thank you. I'll put it back. That's the more reason I don't want to have house help. I don't want to bring uh, some boys and my wife will start developing interests. <laughs> Are you jealous? No wonder. You don't have a family driver. Oh, do you know that my wife even was of the opinion that um, since I refused to get her a driver, I should drive her to the airport anytime she wants to travel. You refuse to give her a driver because you don't want the driver dating her? Uh-huh. <laughs> Butchers don't like people with cutlasses behind their back. Oh my dear, don't forget about your joke, eh? <laughs> look at that, look at that, see that? Did you see that? It makes no smile, it makes your face look beautiful. And I feel like counting your teeth. <laughs> what did you say? Uh, is there anything with my head? Uh, I know you still know your way around. Take this to my bedroom. Tell me where to go. Come now. Okay, okay, sit down here. What is the meaning of this? Sit, sit down now. Leave me alone. Is that the trick you played of me for me to bring your boss into the bedroom? is not around. It's only me and you here now. And I'll be fast about it. I won't waste time. Fast about what? Uh, uh, fast about what? Asking again. Hmm? Now sit down here. Yeah. What? Do you want to rape me? Eh? Look, it will no longer be rape if you agree. Eh? Mm. agree. Is what? Just agree to no longer be rape. Come now. Eh? What? Now. What about? So all along you've been eating my money. He didn't complain. Now it's time for you to pay back and you're complaining. It's not my money for nothing.
I didn't come down with my boss. Do something now before your wife meets me in this house. Then my boss is not here. I will give you money tomorrow. <laughs> you give, you give me money tomorrow. Yes. Hey! <laughs> you didn't bring your boss. You give me money tomorrow. <laughs> Lila! If by tomorrow you don't give me the money, you see my call. Even at one point, you do then I want to make money. None of the doctors is available now. Uh, uh, yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, you you mean the doctors cannot come here? They are all busy in the theater. What what, what do we do now? Oh, all the doctors are busy. You can't get even one to come. Should I come back and pick you? It's okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> we met our fans. <laughs> Man. Mm. Okay, let me go meet her. Let me go and meet her. heard what she said. Um, what do you have to say? I mean, what's your decision? I'm not comfortable with the idea. I'm not comfortable. Let her go back to her father. Mummy, why are you treating me like this? Staying with my father is like staying in a store. He doesn't have human feelings. He only cares about drinking, smoking and playing around with women. I'm sorry, Anita. This is my matrimonial home. I can't accept you here. Your father made all the noise till I handed you over to him, so go and be with your father. I've already handed you over to your father. You can't stay here. Mommy, why do you hate me so much? 
treating me like this just because I'm a product of an affair that you hated so much. Now I know what you meant when he said he transferred the hatred to me. You guys will have to excuse me, please. Jesse, you have to go back to your father. You can't stay in this house. You can't. I'm serious. My husband is a young man, and I don't want you to be here. You go back to your father. Yes, yes. How, how may I help somebody? Five face. Huh? Did you send Anissa back to my house to come and. Uh, yes, I did. I sent her back because she's your daughter. What is wrong with that? Five mm. So you want to break my marriage because I refuse to reunite with you? This girl is a young girl, though. Hey, you know my husband is a young man. Besides these days, young boys and girls run from one junction to the other. Migri boy, anybody can touch anybody. Your husband can stretch his legs and relax properly. You know? <laughs> Daddy, what did you say? Did somebody talk? Now listen, let me tell you something. There is no space for you in this house. If she stays here, at your own risk. <laughs> if she stays here, I will use her for money rituals and become richer. Next time you come, I will not be drinking beer. I will be on Hennessy. Fine face. That girl is your daughter, oh. And you're her father. Story for the gods. Anita, please come back here. Anita, come back here. Don't worry about Anita. her. She will be fine. Yes. As you can see, I'm drinking beer now. Next time you come, I'll be on Hennessy. Don't leave her, let her go. If she likes, let her go to Amwanga. After all, she's a woman. She can survive anywhere. Even worse, yeah, bio, bio. Even worse, yeah, bio, bio. Dina, you're, you're so unbelievable. I couldn't have believed it if, if, if I was told before now. Eh? How, how, how could you send away your only daughter be, be, because... Because I saw the way you were looking at her. If you're given the chance, you begin to touch my daughter. Jesus, Lena, you are very wicked. Yes. To say this, you're wicked. wicked. Yes, I'm very wicked. I'm very wicked, yet I feed you in this house. I am wicked because I pay your house rent. I am wicked because I pay your utility bills. Napoleon, shame on you. Shame! Napoleon, shame! Then I don't blame you at all. I don't blame you one bit. I blame the condition I found myself in. So because I'm out of work now, and less of cash, then you can shout back at me. Ta! Napoleon Ikukuburuge. Ikukuburuge! Hey! Ikukuburuge! Will you touch me? Touch me, Napoleon. Touch me as if you eat in this house. Touch me as if you if you put on clothes again. If you touch me, even transport money or your fair money, you won't get it again. Touch me. Touch me. Uh -uh. What are you looking for? Touch me now. Touch me. Mm. Mm. Said, what are you looking for? Touch me. God have mercy on you. And you too. Why are you 
you looking for her? The people rejected her and she ran back to this place. Why are you not popping out your eyes? Oh, so she's here. Yes, I am back to the house of the woman who treats me like a real mother. As for you, I don't know what to tell you yet. Anita, my daughter, please don't misunderstand me. My husband is a very young man. And I wouldn't want to take the risk of having a, a boarding girl in my, in my house. You know, fingers may begin to cross boundaries. Now that you know I'm here, could you please go back to your husband's house and leave me alone? At least she likes this place. Unlike you that cut us off because of the entanglements of the past. Napoleon, please put me through. What guy are you talking about? I information has it that, that you, you... Whoever your informant is, I'm sure he must have some psychosomatic problems. And he should have his head examined. So you're not dating any man out there? To God who made Saturday and Sunday. Napoleon, if you ever accuse me like this again, I'll begin to weigh my options in this marriage. And what are your options, if I may ask? I think someone is spying on me. Someone is talking to Napoleon. Who could that be? Lina. Lina, why are you doing this? Is it because of my financial condition? Or do you think this is the end of my time? You know, after I confronted her, th there's this look on her face that depicts that she's possibly guilty. That is to say that she's seen a man out there. But, but what I don't understand is that why you have refused to tell me who this man is so that I can confront the man once and for all. But but how do you think you can confront him with our money? Fine face, I didn't come here for you to start laughing at me now, eh? Come on, man. I am not laughing at you. Well, I guess you can figure the rest out yourself. But please, just stop making jest of me. Just answer me. It's okay. I'm not making jest of you, my friend. Okay? Why don't you wait for me in the car? I'll join you in a sec. Now you're talking, thank you. Oh, yeah, Allah. You think I'm happy you snatched Lina away from me? Now you want me to help you. Love you, Jam the Rock. My face. I ask you. Are you sure about what you said to me on the phone? Because if I find out you're playing pranks with me, you're not going to like me. As a matter of fact, I promise you'll see the other side of me. Do you have the heart to do what you came here to do? You have a gun. Makes it a lot more easier. Room 17.
take care of your shit. I do now. Get through the letters degree now. Eh? I still do it. I'm ready. Oh. Are we expecting somebody? No. Who is knocking at it? Face. Are you not stalking me? In my matrimonial house? We am looking for your husband. I'm sure he's not your business partner. I need to see him. Then call him on phone. I have been trying to reach him, but he is not picking. What about our daughter? Lena, what about our daughter head? She now stays at... Excuse me. Oh, I'm busy inside. Lena, what about what I told you? Have you considered what I told you? Leave in Napoleon and come back to your rightful place. It's better to serve in hell than to... Lena! Wait, 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 wait. Maybe Napoleon did not catch them. I mean, I know something is wrong somewhere. Because she doesn't she doesn't look guilty. discover where we were. It's like someone is trailing me. And I must find out who he is.
Who's it in that? Five years was right. Yes. And I'm positive it was Lena's voice I heard inside that room. Yes, that was also Lena's box. It is her box. I enter the room. And the next thing is, ah! Oh God. God. What is Lena up to? Who is doing this to me, God? Is doing this to <sighs> Why? What have I done to deserve this? Uh, that poor, the call you gave me this afternoon. You sounded distressed. I hope all is well. Brother, I've made up my mind to leave this town for good. As a matter of fact, as I speak to you right now, I've packed all my things and I should be on my way by tomorrow. Napoleon, no, sorry, I don't understand. I mean, what a decision. What about your work? I've decided to forgo everything. I want a change of environment. That's the only way I can live healthy. Because if I stay in this town, I keep seeing Lena, and any time I think about her, I, I feel like something is piercing through my heart. Oh, is that why you want to leave town? Because of Lena? Hello. Uh, I don't like you sounding like this. Okay? This is a girl I mean, I dated before. I've been there. I've seen it all. If only you ask me, if only you ask me, Napoleon, I have been in their shoes, okay? I have been in their shoes. I know Lena too well. All right, Lena, why don't you find yourself a young, pretty damsel, sexy damsel out there? Why don't you find yourself one and then you can forget about that bastard called Lena? I mean, calling Lena a harlot is an understatement. Not in this town. Anyway, let's not deliberate over it so much. Uh, the truth is that my uncle in Lagos has promised to, to introduce me into business as soon as I get into Lagos. Business? Yes. Napoleon, from civil service to business. No, wait. From civil service to business. You see the badge? Hello. Fine face. I'm, I'm interested in supplies and general merchandise. So it's not going to be a problem. Uh, it's going to work. The other I get there, the better. Okay, okay. You've made up your mind. Okay, we agree. Uh, what about your family? Please, fine face. Yes. Let me beg you this favor, even if it's the last favor you do for me in your life. Anything, my brother. I don't want any of you looking after me when I go. Nobody should bother looking for me. Please. So know it will take you a while to settle down in Lagos. That's the more reason why I have to start settling out immediately. Because the earlier I get into Lagos, the better. My sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Oh, see. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and mess up yourself. Yourself, the more. Go, go on and mess up yourself. Have you lost shame? Have you lost the dignity of being a man? God, a girl you brought up like your own daughter, and today you turn around. Comfortably pull your trousers and you enter her. You still had the, the, the dust to, to carry your stupidity into my own house. 
and call her your sweetheart. Go ahead. But uh, she's still my daughter, isn't she? Can, can, can you imagine you? You still have the girls to open your mouth and talk to me. God. What's, what's, what's this generation turning into? Jesus. Well, um, uh, um, I, I don't know. I Excuse me, you, please just get out of my house. Get, leave, leave my house, leave my house. You don't have anything to say. Get out. Get out. Anyway, I understand how you feel. You know, I know it's not easy for a man to stay without a job and money for this length of time. Um, get out of my house! It's okay, it's okay. Uh, that shirt looks good on you. That means I made a good choice. Well, uh, at any time you sit down there to enjoy a very good meal. Do you remember that somebody, you know, was responsible? That's good. Get out of my house! <laughs> Shameless he goes. I'll be back some other time. Send me well to her. Get out! Shameless he goes! Get out! Get the hell out of my house! Ah! God, no! I was looking for you in the other sitting room. Sweetie. 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 I'm back now. Sweetie. 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 Sweetie, 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 it's me, Lina. Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Who did this to you? Oh, God. Who did this to you? I told him how dangerous he has been for me jumping from one place to another. And he accepted it. That's right. And why are you crying now? He left home last night. Until now, he's yet to be home. Instead, I saw this note behind the television. What? <laughs> Five faces left the country. After he contributed to the death of my husband. What? To your husband, he took his life. <laughs> Does he beat my own? 
faithful is not going to come back to this country again. Okay? It's better he runs ahead. <laughs> At least he has achieved his mission. Ah, but mm -hmm. someone must pay. Who must pay? have been otherwise please you have to be a man over this development and the police have swung into action and I believe that whoever the killer may be justice must bring him or her to book huh. who is doing this to me who is after me Who did I offend? If there is anybody I offended, let the person come out. And let us lock it out. You hot hate